I would like to now welcome Alex Rios. He is the Partner Service Director at Softonic. And uh, he's got a fan club. <laughs> Here you go, Alex. Thanks a lot. Your, Thanks a lot. Your clicker. It's okay. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Alex. I'm the, the one who leads the developer relationships in Softonic. Okay, and today I'm here to, to bring you uh, a message to all uh, of you that have an app or develop an app. Uh, a different message, okay? And it is about what they don't tell you about your app monetization. Let's see. This is probably what you've heard, okay? They told you, if you want to make money out of your app, what you have to do is to put it free and monetize through either advertising or either a freemium model. Okay? This is what everybody, everybody tells you. And indeed, they tell that because actually it is truth. If you see where the money is coming from, it's coming from in the, in the stores, it is coming from in app advertising and, and in app purchases. And paid apps are very, very little of their incomes. So also, you don't need a lot of graphics to see that. You only need to have a look at uh, top grossing listings in the stores. And you'll see that maybe 28 out of 30 apps in the top, top grossing, uh, they are free apps. You see the only two apps that are not free are, uh, in this case, is, is TomTom. Okay, but what they don't tell you is that in order to get that amount of money, in order to make mm, that one million a day of revenue, you need, you need a lot of users, a lot of users, okay? You, not, you need an enormous active user base. You need a humongous, I don't know what that means, but, but it sounds huge, you know? <laughs> humongous marketing budget. It is that you have to invest a lot of, a lot of money in, in getting new users, okay? And also, you, you also need a, a, a slice of luck, okay, to get, to, get the, to get that money from your apps. So, more or less, what happened about that, probably you, you already know, is that they say that one out of five developers, they don't make money at all from their apps. This, this uh, numbers come comes from developer economics. Okay, they are they are very well known from Vision Mobile, and uh, and the thing is that we 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 unlike this. This is well, this is like like me. I develop a lot of apps, and at least he, he has more hair than me. Okay, uh, but the message is okay because I've seen in in Softonic and in uh, in the last years, I've seen a lot of great apps. Okay that that they are they, they are um, they solve a very specific need and they are intended for a very narrow niche of users for a very narrow segment of users and uh, if this is if this is the case of if this is your case it is a very bad idea to give your app for free you know it, it is even if you try to apply lean startup principles to to develop an app um, what they say is that in order to launch your product, yes, you have to focus on a very narrow and a specific segment of users and find out if they want to pay for your app. So more or less, this is what happened. Okay, a premium uh, model could generate greater re greater revenues uh, if you have this this app these characteristics in your app. Okay, imagine that imagine that you want to make one uh, twenty thousand dollars out of your app. If it is free, you probably will need one million users and convert two percent of them to have twenty thousand uh, twenty thousand users paying. And imagine you want, you make them pay one one dollar. Okay. So the the takeaway here is is okay. If some of your user, of your users are willing to pay, don't give your app for, for free. Don't give a good product for free. Because I've seen a lot of good products, and you give you, you give it for free, so the 10,000 users that really are willing to pay, they get the app for free, and they say, "Okay, thank you, <laughs> thank you for 
for your for for being so kind with me and then you never monetize okay so in order to succeed with this pr premium model it is the the basics are simple to to understand but but difficult to to achieve is okay first of all don't build an app for everybody don't try to market everyone okay just find a very specific narrow segment and then you can focus your marketing efforts and you don't have to spend one dollar for acquiring every single user, okay? So, just to, to reach the end, okay, think thoroughly which monetization model is best for you, and don't forget about the premium model, which I think it has uh, a lot of <laughs> years <laughs> to work after that, okay? Thank you. Thank you, everyone.